All right, let's continue on here. I've been deciding what I need to do. Got this project here kind of on hold right now. I need to put it up on the lift to do what I need to do. Been waiting two weeks for parts for that, and as soon as they get here, I've got to get that back fixed. So it's kind of tying up the lift. I can't work on this truck here. I do need to do the timing belt on it before I do the body and paint. So I wanted to kind of do the timing belt on this on the lift because it's much easier, and then put the oval window over on the lift area to start working on that and then start working on this and get this to a quick restore on this just get this thing back on the road so since I haven't gotten a straight answer from the parts people let's see if we can get this thing off uh, I was thinking about it you know I wasn't gonna wait a little while but I can actually leave this outside because it's fiberglass and it's not a problem to do that so what I'm gonna do is it's not hard to take off. Let's see if we can get it off of here. I'm not worried about the wiring anymore. Uh, the wiring is all going to have to be redone anyway. I did ran some other issues I'll show you real quick. Let's take a look at them. So these things here, I'm not certain how they work, but I was looking at this one over here. Look at, there's nothing here. This whole part's gone. And see these wires kind of go in here. I, I'm almost thinking that this is kind of not I thought there might be oil in this part but I'm thinking there might not be and um, I think that if this parts open as long as it's not rusted out I don't know who that is and that it might work still but I haven't I don't know I gotta get them off I loosened a couple of the bolts on them and at some point we'll take these off I'm trying to get a part number for them to see if I can find them if they're even available anywhere Otherwise, I would have to make, if I got a substitute, you can get them. I mean, they make these valves, you know, newer ones. Uh, I'd have to make all this again. So, that would probably not fit on here. So, anyway, that's where we're at there. Well, let's try to get the other parts apart. Well, another thing I did off camera is I worked on this. I actually heated this up so that this thing, this thing was so frozen. I had to heat it up really hot and then oil it to get it to work it would not move there was nothing I could do to get this thing to move at all and now it moves pretty easily it's actually sticking right now but at some point it's actually sticking because it's it needs to be welded right there all right I'm just gonna go under here I'm not worried about it any anything that could get rewired or whatever because I'm just gonna cut it just cut right through them all I don't care, all that wire is going to have to get replaced. So I got them all cut right there. That's for the whole box. These good cutters right here. Well, I was trying to cut these off with, I don't know, you can't really get a cut off wheel in here very good because there's these bars and stuff in the way. And I was trying to heat them up with a torch, just get them off, and they're all stuck. So I'm just going to cut them off with a plasma cutter. Let's try it. I did one already to see if it would work. Let's try this here. I got to cut both ways. I need to. Well, it definitely smells like burnt rubber. Got a few of them off. Coming. And a lot more to go. Seems like that's going to do the trick. What do you guys think? You might be a few more bolts there. What the center thing is holding it in, too. Well, I'll just keep cutting them off. I can't really film it, but I'll bring you guys back in in a second. All right, let's just see what we've got here. See if this thing will come off. Oh, man. 
It is crusty. There's literally no frame left in this thing. Oh, there's one more bolt up there. I'll get that one. Let's see if I got enough of it. Maybe. Maybe they can come off. Let's see up here. Shortly, won't we? Yeah. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but I don't think it's very light. All right, this side's all loose. From what I can tell. Let's see if the other side's loose. All right, what do you guys think? You guys think it's going to be loose? Bet you it's not. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Well, I got most of the bolts out. I mean, the bolts are out, but it's just... Could have a little slag in there or something. raining rust everywhere. You know all these paint cans in the way. You can put all this stuff away though. I really don't have time to do it right now. Short days. Not getting much done. Looks like I got that one loose. All of them are out. I gotta go climb in the jungle gym here. Gotta climb in the jungle gym. It's really fun to do too. Alright, let's see if she's all loose. I think it is. Let's look. Looks like you gotta get the wires out of there. Alright, so the question is how heavy do you guys think it is? Time for the heave ho. Let's see if it comes down. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit of a crash. We're good. It's heavy. I'd say it weighs 
at least 100 pounds. What do you guys think? I'm thinking at least 100. Comes down easier and it'll go back up. Well, we'll check it out in a second. Well, here's what's left, guys. Not much. This was all, looks like they all angle iron. It's just rotten. Look at it in here. I don't know what the heck this was. I think maybe there was a piece of sheet metal covering this whole thing. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Look at that rust. It's just like, you know. We'll just uh, pretend we didn't see it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think we're going to have to definitely address this stuff here. I don't know. Let's vacuum this out and let's just see what was here. And if this part underneath here is any good. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of work. You know, it's uh, slightly pitted. It's probably plenty strong. I don't think so. I don't know what's left of this. Man. All this flat steel has got to be replaced. Angle iron. I think the only thing that's any good is this front rail, maybe. Maybe not. Not really sure on that. I might be able to save that. And it's got an X frame underneath it. And that looks pretty good. But all of this here is pretty toast. Let's see if I can measure that, find out what it might be. Let's see if I can find something in the remnant pile. But I don't know on this piece in the middle. I mean, this was just a lake of rust, wasn't it? I mean, it's just sat here and just water just puddled right here, probably. And probably, I mean, if I drill through it, I could see if there's enough metal left. I, I, it doesn't look like there's. it's very good, does it? I don't know. But it's connected to that thing. So, uh, I guess it's just plate. I don't know how thick it is, but man. Anyway, let's weld it on here. Yeah, it better be pretty strong. It's got a hold of person, right? So it will be. That's for sure. But how am I going to fix it? This I'm going to have to think about. This here, I think I better replace these little brackets here. So heat that up and take that off. Or just cut it off with the plasma cutter, I don't know. Cut this off and then just weld new tabs on. Drill them. And then just get some uh, angle iron and start making stuff. Maybe some plate. I don't know. I guess we could just start cutting it up and I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. Cause uh I don't know if I want to take this whole thing off and make a template and uh it just seems like a lot of work to do that. Uh maybe I'll just I mean this part right here I could save this angle iron here is pretty good I'd say this part from to right here is actually pretty good I could just cut this off right here and then like put this piece on 
trying to figure I just don't want to do take this whole thing off and do a template because I think I mean this thing here is connected to it so it's this this I'd have to take this whole thing off it just seems like it'd be kind of complicated to duplicate maybe I'll just replace the parts cut it up in parts I know we got some weed eater going in the background but nothing I can do about that um, maybe I'll just do some of that and then I'll bring you back in a little bit all right let's not overcomplicate this um, we probably know the correct way is to take this whole thing off and measure everything and try and make it one exactly this but we're not doing that this thing is very crude it's not something that you're gonna see um, so here's what I'm thinking this is one inch so we got our thing here let's see this is one inch angle iron I guess it some metric size probably but same thing right and this is like one and a half inch flat bar we got uh, what I did is instead of drilling I just went ahead and popped through it with the plasma cutter a little easier um, and this is just some flat steel so I'm thinking I need to replace this piece too there's no way I'm gonna weld to that um, it, it would probably be okay but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it you know so here's the plan this is what I'm thinking is I know the right way to do it would be take this whole thing off and measure honestly that's gonna take a lot of time to do take it all off measure everything and get it all make one exactly like it and of course you know if this is the way it is with me if I measure everything and I put it all on here and then I go to put it on I guarantee you my measurements are gonna be off I just know me so here's what I think I'd rather do on this since it's very crude all it needs to be is level and straight okay I think I can do that um, it's just cut off sections of it so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say I'm gonna cut off I know this has got to come off so I'll just go ahead and take this thing off with the plasma cutter just knock those things off you know we'll deal with that later I can get that in the same place um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because it has to have this thing line up down here so that's gonna be a little bit tricky to do but not too hard I don't think and I mean I can always correct it by making this longer or shorter real easy so I can just make say this bar tack it in you know I, I may just leave this one in place because it's pretty good it's actually if I clean that up I think from here over is actually in pretty good shape so all the way up to here even so I could just leave that in place tack a piece in tack it in so that it's held by this bar and by that one because I'm going to keep these okay and then uh, just replace every piece on it you know just I think it'll be faster and easier that's what I think so trying to like I said take it all off and then make one exactly the same I think I'll just spend a week on something I could spend in a couple hours so I really don't have time to do that so I'm just gonna go for the cheap and easy way like I usually do right as long as it works if it works cheap easy we're gonna roll with it so the plate part is a little complicated don't really know how I'm gonna do that yet um, I think this will these bars here will support the frame pieces so I'm just gonna just make one weld it in place make the next one tack it in start tacking stuff in and then uh, maybe I'll just deal with the middle later you know towards uh, after I get this bar replaced here and this side replaced and the back piece replaced get this thing off of here and then I'll just you know I'll cut this here because I'll have this already cut right and I'll just have these bars kind of supporting it and then I'll just make the middle and I think it'll just go way faster than if I try and take the whole thing off and and do it I think it'll just be easier and faster so that's what we're doing fast and easy uh, 
I'm not going to go with the most complicated and difficult way because I always will make a mistake when I do that. So. All right, so we just got to cut one to 36 and a half. So I think that's what it was. Okay, 36 and a half. So we'll just measure it out here. 36 and a half. Mark it. Okay. You know, I'll just cut off some of this mess. And for those of you guys who are wondering, we're using a new tool today. It's called square ball. Look, this is how you do it. Let's see, about right. Looks square to me.
All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tack these here. And then I was thinking it's going to be kind of hard to weld upward, so I might just mark this off. And just use the plasma cutter and cut a bunch of holes. It'd be kind of hard to drill through this, it's real slow going. Um, if I just cut a bunch of holes in here and then welded it up that way, it might be a little easier. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, I might go underneath and weld it trying to, but I, I'm sure I'll get a crappy weld with all this stuff in the way. So, anyway, let's do it. Let's see how we did on this. Let's take a look. Get you guys up close. Take a look at it. Just got a couple of voids. I missed a couple spots here. A little bit right there I missed. But you can see those are pretty solid welds. And that's all with the Harbor Freight Titanium welder. And this is 8 inch steel. So the, this welder can weld pretty good on thicker steel. I'll show you my settings. So I'm at 21.6, 205 on the 0.023 wire. I just kept the same wire in it. It would have been nicer to use the thicker wire. I wasted a lot of wire, but I had the inductance, I lowered that down to three. And I think that how it works is the inductance, I think if it's a lower number, it makes a smoother puddle, bigger puddle. But since I was plug welding, I didn't want it down all the way, so I wanted to, so. Anyway, I guess I'll do a little bit of touch up here. It's not a real big deal. And then I got to put the last two pieces on. And then this thing is sturdy now. It, it, once it gets the basket on here too, even though this metals, this is probably, this is a little bit smaller. You know, the original stuff was a real one by, this is probably three, seven eighths or something. See, this is just a little bit under an inch. And this one here is just a little bit over, you know, it's like, so it ends up being a 16th on each, on each end, probably an eighth or whatever. So 
the old school metal was probably made different or it's German made in millimeters or whatever something like that it doesn't matter it'll be plenty strong for that once the things bolted on here then that becomes part of the strength it'll kind of strengthen it up even more so it should be plenty strong to hold that thing up let's keep moving on Wow, look at that. It's super strong. It is once the basket's on there again, it'll be one piece. I'm gonna head meet these off camera. I got these. Just uh, made those real quick. Drilled them. It's It's got like a clevis pin there. I couldn't even tell what it was until I heated up with a torch. There's a clevis pin. It's a 10 millimeter. I, don't know, I drilled them for 3 8 in case I can't find a 10 millimeter. But look at that. <laughs> look at that giant mess. I haven't cleaned it up just to show you. I'm going to clean it up now. I don't want to crawl around in that trying to paint this, that's for sure. So, uh, that's all the old stuff right there, pretty much. Just crumbled away to nothing. So let's do a little clean up here and take another look at it. All right, well, I crawled under here and got all this thing uh, treated with rust treatment. Banged my head a few times. That's about how this thing goes, working on this thing. It is a pain in the butt. So got it all, and I have to let that dry. I think I'll let that dry overnight. And then uh, um, it's getting too cool right now. It won't dry for a few hours the way it is. So getting evening time right now I got about another hour of daylight but not enough time to let this dry and then paint it so I think what I'll do is just we'll just stop here and uh, we'll do another video on this I guess and uh, we'll just uh, probably do one more on this thing and then I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna move on to something else for a while um, I am looking at this here you know just kind of ground off some of these this thing's just spider web cracked everywhere so um you know i was trying to figure out what to do with it and it's just this thing's huge this is very big this is a lot of surface area that's like almost half a car and, and I, I don't know it looks like what i can tell it it doesn't look like there's gel coat on it it looks like there's fiberglass and then a coat of some sort of a filler it doesn't look like gel coat and then there was white paint and red paint so i think that's the original paint it was painted red and white stripes so i'm thinking that that's what originally was on it and then at some point they painted just the back half stripes then they started just burying the thing with this school bus yellow color or whatever it is just kept burying it over and over and over and there's, I don't know how many layers of paint on here, but there's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coats. Yeah. So I gotta strip this thing. I mean, it's look at this stuff. You know, this thing was just rotten. The whole bottom of this thing here it's never been off of that thing I'm gonna get some wire like this you know like almost like an extension cord but it's got to be stronger than an extension cord it's gonna last longer to be in the Sun all the time and like they must have rewired at some point because it had two of these tubes and then one's rotten away here and then they had all the wires shoved in this tube over here and it's they're in there so tight I don't know how I'm gonna get them out of there so I don't think they 
And then this is rotten way up here. This thing is. So I got some more tubing. I'm gonna to do some repairs of that later. So this that's all just this little section in the middle will need to be done. And then I was kind of checking this out too here. And I think that this part didn't have fluid in it. That's for now that I'm looking at. I think these are like windings. And then they encased them. So it is possible. Uh, it is possible that I could just put power to here and then the solenoids may work. So I might try that maybe here in the near future and just to see if they click or do something. If they click, they probably work. That's my guess. So click them up and then click them down. So there's two different positions. You got a ground here. Let's see, get you guys a little closer. There's a ground here and then there's a two different positive so it has two different positions it goes up and then it goes down so so I'm figuring that's a coil of wire right there and that's another coil of wire up above it and I'm not sure this was maybe they came apart maybe this is just like a thing that came off uh, you can access to it. I don't know why they had this lid. Maybe that's the shaft inside. You could lubricate it. I don't know. I'm certain that sucker ain't going to come off easy. I don't want to get these really hot with a torch because they're, the windings, it'll just take the coating off of them and then it, they won't work at all. So I got to get these off, and the only way to get those off is torch it if I have to do that. But that's it's so weird, you know. I, I, I've tried reaching out to Ruthman and I've gotten a couple different people and I've sent them photos and stuff and they're kind of coming back and me, hey that thing's really old I'm like yeah it is and then I send them back you know a couple of videos to kind of get them interested and in, you know that I'm restoring it and and then see hey can you guys just like look and send it to the corporate office and see if anybody has any kind of books or anything at home or whatever they can even take pictures of pages or whatever sent them to me and I don't know it doesn't seem to be working so far but you know I, I've gotten a few emails I got replies on them but that's about as far as it's gone so be nice to find new ones I, I just don't think these are going to work but I mean I've seen some of these valves be a thousand dollars a piece you know I don't think I'm going to spend that kind of money on that really I, I don't know I don't really want to spend that kind of money three three grand sitting right here some of them I mean but uh, who knows I mean if it's just windings here I mean those could be rewound and then you know if they're not going to work it's just a just got to make it go up and down that's it so it's possible to rebuild them and that's got it has to be that I don't think there's any fluid that gets in this part but they sure are rusted out the cases of them I was thinking if they work I could take and you know use panel adhesive and just slide something over them and clean them up just to keep the water out of them but that's the this is the major thing i think with this thing is going to be these so anyway all right i'll talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe see your comments hopefully you enjoyed what you saw so far and i, I don't know it's going to be a long process but this is going to get done it's just a matter of time